What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today I've got the beautiful new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus in hand. One of them is rose gold, it's absolutely beautiful. However, today I will be destroying them. However, I do wanna see, is the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus more durable? Apple did promise us a two times strength improvement in terms of actual material used. It's aluminum 7000 used from the Apple Watch, so this thing should be a lot tougher. Now, not only that, but the glass did improve as well. Apple made it a dual ion exchange process, making it twice as as durable so this thing should be more resistant to shock and scratch and that's what I want to see with this video. How do the results of a drop test of the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus compare to the results of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus? I've done so many drops with these guys I can't even count however one thing is for certain these guys don't do very well in a drop so I want to see how the 6S and 6S Plus with those new materials compare. So we're going to be dropping these guys from waist height head height and a 10 foot drop. So we're gonna be doing you know, side impact, rear impact, face impact to see just how durable these things are and how they compare to last year's iPhone 6. So here's the iPhone 6S and it is a little bit beefier. You can definitely notice after grabbing it, picking it up that this thing is a little heftier. It's a little chunkier and it's not so much apparent right away, but you know, if you've been using it without a case for a while, you'll definitely notice the difference. But does that translate to more durability? It definitely is beautiful. The new force click is awesome, but is it more durable? Let's go ahead and see. So starting with the waist high drop, we're gonna drop these guys on the rear and see how that new material stands up to scuffs and dents compared to the old iPhone 6. Breaks my heart. Man, these things are amazing. Amazing pieces of technology, but I really wanna test Apple's claim, so let's do this. So on the rear shell in three, two, one. I really can't tell. Did anything happen? That sapphire crystal lens must be pretty durable not to break, but all right. So let's do the side impact, same height. All right, so three, two, one. All right, no change. Okay, so for both of these, you know, I've never really had a problem on lower drops with the iPhone 6. However, is that display popping out a little bit? Maybe just a little bit. But anyways, let's do the face down waist height. You know, this is what really matters when you get out of your car and your phone's on your lap and, you know, it just drops on his face. This is what's going to matter. Whew. All right. So face down drop in three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, good stuff. I really can't see any scuffs yet on either. On to the head height drop. All right, so at the head height, this is where you're talking on your phone and you drop it either on the rear, the side, or the face. And let's see how these guys fare. I'm gonna do them one at a time, starting with the six. So this is pretty much the baseline here. So let's say on the rear shell, about a head height right here in three, two, one. I don't know how uh, easy that is to see, but there's some weird artifact on the glass. It's not cracked. I can't feel it with my fingernail, but you know, it's just like the laminate is coming off in between the screen and the LCD. It's kind of interesting. So let's see if the 6S fares any better. Same head height, about right here. Rear drop in three, two, one. I really can't even tell much. There's a little scuff right here and it almost rubs off. I mean, golden. Okay, let's do the side impact. Oh, okay, there we go. So for some reason it just shut off. Um, is that a safety feature? I don't know, but let's do the side drop, head height. Three, two, one. And here you can see how soft the material is on the iPhone 6. I mean, it just bends and the screen did pop out. You could pop that guy in, but right here, you know, you now have a fitment that doesn't fit very well. The display didn't crack, but you know, it's just so soft. It just bends in. I do hope the success does a lot better. Head height, side impact in three, two, one. So dents aren't as apparent, scuffs aren't as apparent. Absolutely a difference in the material, wow. 
and we still have a happy working phone. So both of these at this point are still working. You know, this one just has some weird things going on with the displays, but neither are cracked. This one is just bent a little bit in the corner. All right, so here we are, you're talking on your phone and your phone just lands perfectly flat on its face as it so typically does. Anyways, so head height about right here in three, two, one. You know, I'm betting that it's broken. Yep, that was too bad of an impact. I mean, display digitizer still works, but the cracks are so bad. Definitely not gonna be using this because you can cut your finger. There's so much glass just popping out of there. So let's hope the 6S does better. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. How does an iPhone 6S handle a face down drop at 10 feet? That guy down there, not doing so well. The iPhone 6 didn't handle it. Let's hope this guy with the dual ion exchange glass can handle it. Okay, so head height in three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Wow, just wow. I really am impressed. Apple really did make true on their promise. The materials on this thing just, just shine. I mean, after all of these drops, the iPhone 6S looks better in every way. There's no scuffs that are apparent, no dents. I mean, if I were to sell this thing to someone, I really doubt they would even know it went through all this shock and damage, but holy crap you really do get a much more durable phone with the 6S. So let's go ahead and see what it takes to truly break the 6S. Let's go ahead and do all these drops from a 10 foot surface. And the iPhone 6, let's just keep going and see what it takes to completely demolish it. All right, so we're at the 10 foot drop with these two survivors. Let's go ahead and see how these fare. So I'm gonna do the rear impact for both in three, two, one. Oh. Wow, so clean, both look good. All right, so together in three, two, one. Oh. Wow, the 6S continues to impress me. This guy is looking clean, like really clean. That material is so durable. All right, so face down 10 feet. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, dang, look at that. Tell me you're not impressed. That's just insane. The six looks like definitely had some better days, but this guy, wow. I don't see scuffs. I don't see anything really wrong with this guy. Everything wipes off. This thing looks like it just came out of the box and there's definitely no bend. Wow, tell me you're not impressed. So. Let's go ahead and see how this translates to the iPhone 6S Plus. So let's see how that translates to the iPhone 6 Plus and 6S Plus. I feel like because of the larger display, larger size and weight, it will actually break, but let's go ahead and do this. So waist height, rear drop in three, two, one. Really uh, not much here. Okay, so side impact. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. So just from that, you now have a deep dent in here. So it actually goes underneath the screen. Whereas on this guy, everything is clean and no dents. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm so proud of the 6S, it's doing great. All right, so let's see face it down. Never really took much to break a six plus screen. Let's see if uh, this guy can hold up better. Three, two, one. I notice a scuff on this guy. It's not really much of a dent, but there is definitely a scuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up to the head height. In three, this hurts. Two, one. Wow, okay, so there is even more bend now. So the corner is now bending outwards even more. You're gonna have a lot of difficulty putting your headphone jack in on the iPhone 6 Plus, whereas on this guy, you know, you have scuffs, but other than that, very, very minor dent, like, you know, nothing compared to this. It's completely bended in the shell. 
Let's see if the face down does any different. In three, two, one. Very even. Oh, wow. So in this case, both actually did better. Wait, what's that? No, it just reset on me. Please don't go into safe mode. Please don't go into safe mode. Okay, so this guy's alive. So this is where it matters. The 10 foot drop, see what it really takes to destroy these guys, starting with the rear impact. So 10 foot drop in three, two, one. Nothing too bad. Actually, the six plus is just a slightly little bit bent. Other than that, both look great. You know, I can't really see scratches or scuffs. Let's go ahead and do the side. Three, two, one. Man, so that turned out to be a face impact for this guy, but wow, still did great. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. So no more music ever, you know, forget about ever listening to music. It's completely dented in on the side and the whole phone is now slightly bent. So yeah, that's terrible. Look at the 6S Plus. This thing is doing great. It looks brand new. Let's go ahead and do that face down 10 foot drop. This is where it matters. The final drop test, 10 feet face down, you know, perfectly working. This guy, force touch still works. So it hurts me, it hurts me to do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I think I see glass fragments. I'm betting on both being broken. What, no way. Wow, okay, this is the first time in my life I've ever seen a Touch ID break, but not the actual displays. Holy crap, this is just lucky for the 6 Plus, but I gotta tell you, this guy really is durable. It looks like it just came out of the box, you know, despite the fact that I just dropped this thing so many times in so many ways. I mean, this guy has a damaged Touch ID sensor, you know, crushed corner, but this guy looks flawless. So if that didn't convince you, I don't know what else will. The 6S and 6S Plus truly have received a great upgrade in terms of durability. So I'm so proud of Apple making it so much better. And I'm gonna be doing many other tests. You know, this is the most impressive to me though. Well done, Apple, well done. All right, so I gotta tell you, this is the first drop test I've ever done where I've walked away just baffled and impressed. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus did such a good job. This guy, uh, I can't really get it to turn on. I'm gonna try and force reset it. But wow, you know, the 6 Plus did good and I think he just got lucky. You know, they're never that durable. The 6S Plus, however, looks the best and the 6S, they just look the best. There's very little scuffs. These things look like they just came out of the box. And uh, this is the first time I've ever seen a Touch ID sensor crack. That's it's really interesting to me, but you can't go wrong with these guys. If you are a fumble fingers, if you drop your phone a lot, these guys will be your savior. I mean, I did buy Apple Care for them, but I don't think I'll ever need to use it. These guys are just doing so well. Anyways, guys, I do hope you appreciate this video. Thanks for watching. You know, it takes a lot of effort to make these kind of videos and stay tuned for many more. Subscribe for many more great videos and I'll have a ton of great content for you guys to come. Have a great day. Enjoy your iPhone 6S, not breaking. Peace.